Hey peeps, in this video I'll show you how to download and install Eclipse IDE without any errors. So first off, let's open our Chrome browser. Before we download Eclipse, we need to make sure we have JDK installed. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. I'll drop the link in the description. Or once you click on that, you'll be redirected to this page. Here, click on JDK Download. Now you'll be redirected to this page, Java SC Development Kit 14 is the latest version. And scroll down, you find this table. Here there are multiple options and multiple platform. Choose your platform accordingly. Uh, mine is a Windows 64 bit, so I'll be choosing Windows 64 installer. Click on the download link. Uh, it will ask for agreement acceptance just click on that and download jdk it will take some seconds downloading it's around 160 mb i'll fast forward this once the download is complete click on the downloaded file the installation to java edk will start click yes You will get this dialog box. Welcome to installation wizard. Click on next, the default location, next. And the installation will begin and, and it will take some time. Okay, the installation is complete. Java AC development kit 14.0 is successfully installed. Click next to access tutorials, API documentations and all that stuff. If you want to read them, you go to next step or just close it. So now we have successfully installed Java JDK. Now let's install Eclipse. I have dropped the link in the description, you can check it out. Once you click on that link, you'll be redirected to this page. Here you need to scroll down and come to this option, download 64 bit. Or oh, this link will be, you know, automatically generated depending on your specification, your system. If you have a 32-bit version, it will be a download 32-bit. So according to the platform, it will be generated. Uh, click on download. The download will begin. Oh, you will be already redacted here. You can click on download. Okay, thank you for your download. You are allowed for money. You can donate them and support their community okay uh, it's around 2 mb will be downloaded in seconds okay the download is completed click on the downloaded file there it is do you want to run this file yes of course the eclipse installer started it's a simple installation this doesn't take uh, any complicated steps then you get this box where you can choose the version of eclipse id you need if you are java developer click on java developer for java developers you want it for enterprise java developers then choose this one for C C plus plus developers similarly you have various options various eclipse ide to choose from now as is just for java we will download eclipse ide for java developers also you can choose this it's almost the same with few extra tools i'll choose the eclipse ide for java developers once you click on that, it will show the virtual machine which we had installed before. That is the JDK that we have, that we had installed. You can see it right here. In case you haven't you have downloaded it or the download went wrong or some crash or something happens, it won't show up here. But as it has successfully been installed, it is showing. And then installation folder, click on install and then install will begin and will take some time. I'll uh, fast forward this. Okay, the installation has completed. 
Oh, there's already an update. Okay, let's do it data. Okay, I'll close this. What exit is this? where time to last? You let's open the application and check whether it's installed properly. It looks IDE. Okay, select a directory as workspace, uh, default workspace. Okay, you can set this as default or you know you can change it later. Launch. Oh, it's real without version. Okay, I continue. Okay, starting Eclipse IDE. Okay, here it is. It's been opened. That's how you download and install Eclipse IDE without any errors. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.